Cleaning up my junk box, I found this six-year-old Chinese FM transmitter module that cost four US dollars at that time. So I will try to modify this module by adding an RF amplifier, such that every step of the modification can be observed on the USB spectrum analyzer. The module has its own MCU, fast lock loop, and a little LCD frequency display. It uses BS1415F that outputs RF signal at pin 11. I will connect this output signal to my RF amplifier. First, 5V power is applied to the transmitter module just to see what kind of RF signal is outputted. No antenna is connected to the module during this measurement. It is observed that the RF output at 88.2 MHz from the module is at negative 35 dBm, theoretically converted to 0.0003 mW on the measuring scale. The buffer and the driver state are added to amplify the RF output signal from pin 11 of the module. No modification is made to the original circuits of the BS1415. A variable capacitor is installed at the output of Q2 so that it resonates at 88.2 MHz. The value of VC is found to be from 10 to 40 PF in order to lock Q2 to 88.2 MHz. Anything larger than 40 PF or less than 10 PF will cause Q2 to swing out of stability and all kinds of frequencies will be outputted in random. This shows photo of the variable capacitor in the attempt to tune Q2 to resonate at 88.2 MHz. The spectrum analyzer reports that Q2 is outputting minus 25 dBm without any antenna connected. In this scenario, the buffer and the driver helped to amplify the original signal at pin 11, 10 times larger. Then the final transistor is added to the driver to amplify the RF signal further before outputting it to the antenna. The 18PF and the 27PF are two fixed capacitors installed at Q2 and Q3. I will use the same variable capacitor to tune at the position of VC1 and VC2 to allow maximum power output. And it is found that VC1 should be 18 PF and so is VC2 to maximize power output at the antenna. This photo shows how to tune VC1 while the RF output is monitored on the spectrum analyzer display. Same with tuning the variable capacitor for VC2 at the collector of Q3. Apparently Q3 with a small rigid antenna can output 0.2 mW on the same scale, which means the final transistor amplifies the RF from the buffer 67 times larger. But in terms of actual current consumption, the three transistors consume 250 mA at 12.5 volts or about 3.1 watts in total.